Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, second round match between the artist formerly known as Dionysian with his dwarves and World Sitar with his orcs. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody, what a game, what a classic, dwarves versus orcs. What a wonderful game that is going to be dedicated to our viewers in the crabs Vanuatu, that gave my flatmates were the a best tiny island in the South here. Pacific okay. Ocean, mm. which uh, the national flower is the hibiscus, and the national dish is called lap lap, mm. which I'm pretty sure people could make, can make jokes about that. <laughs> yep. I would. But not here. Not here, because this is a property. And if anyone is watching this from Vanuatu or close by, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be a very big game in Blood Bowl 3. Dwarves and uh, Orcs, two of the three good teams. Um, so, yep, you know, if you don't enjoy this match, you'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it pretty much was dedicated. The crabs I gave my flatmates. That was that was good timing. <laughs> um, so yeah, interesting here. World Satara is down TV. He is not down by TV much as he's just got bomber dribble snot. Um, so pretty close, pretty close game TV wise. Um, Thirteen players versus twelve rookies on the bench. It's super interesting, isn't it? How oh, pro works? Mm. Your pro pummer. Dio and his ideas. <laughs> yeah, uh, surprisingly enough, I see uh, Dio has a runner with a lot of skills, but none of them is a Hail Mary pass. Yeah, wow. Oh, to be fair, he rolled, he rolled guard when he would have taken it, right? <laughs> And if you take it fifth skill, honestly, Hail Mary Pass isn't that bad fifth because, like, what else can he get? You know, it's kind of the it's kind of the thing at that point. So actually, I guess I guess Dwarf Runners are one of the few players that I could see actually taking it as as idiotic as it sounds. I, he could have leader though, couldn't he? Yeah, leader's better. Mm, so <laughs> legend. All right. I, I was thinking leader. Yeah. Fen. Yeah, I think Fen's a bit crap. Yeah, but you're going to use it more than Hail Mary Pass. Yeah, maybe, yeah, but just not as impactful most of the time, is it? Like, at least when you use Hail Mary Pass, you will actually get quite a lot out of it, to be fair. It's yes, so a lot of viewers, uh, <laughs> clips, clips, you know, Twitch clips, uh, comments, screenshots. Yeah. Mr. Foulbit there does his job anyway, trades. Gets a Kaz, trades him out, and uh, Dio uses his apple. Dio loves uh, loves coming people and getting fouled out, and uh, so he got his desire there. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Dio would tell you that's a perfect day because uh, the Orcs lost a player permanently for the game, and he will recover his player later. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's not. It's not. Neither team's very heavy, is it? There's there's a bunch of guard on Dio's team, but like not a lot of stand firm and mighty blow. Like very little apart from the guards. And uh, World to same really. He's got a couple of nice blitzers, but uh, and a couple of nice blackhawks, but not too much. Not too many skills. Oh, we could see a nice berm here. This is frenzy, juggernaut, jump up. I will change the frenzy for tackle. But uh, other than that, <laughs> powerful piece there. Mm. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like, it is really good having a frenzy, but you need then something else to hit without frenzy, don't you? So, like, it's a. Maybe he had another one, like, maybe he had another blitzer. Maybe he had it like a palm tackle blitzer. Then he made a palm frenzy one to go with it. Oh. oh, there you go. A nice little bin. Uh, Dio doing what he can to protect the uh, bomber. Not Dio, World Sitar, sorry. Well, that's the flicks. Fend on the long beards. I mean, stand firm could be, you know, another option. 
Yeah. Fend on long beads is, is like a lot better than fend on a runner because the runner is like getting hit what once or twice a game. Like that's yeah, the problem, and I know. Yeah. I mean, you have fend and stand firm, guard, mighty blow. Yeah, that's a extremely annoying uh, long beard. Yeah. yeah, PC. Funny enough, PC uh, did take uh, stand firm and fend on his long beards eventually. And fumble. It's like, you know, you, you don't get that much, right? You've got Guard, Mighty Blow, Stand Firm, and after those three, what do you take on Longbeards? It's not so easy, is it? So, Fen to protect against Clawpom is is kind of as much as you, you know, as, as good as anything else. Like, you know, there's some, some other options, but that is totally different to, uh, to Fen on a runner. It's just really, really marginal. Dauntless is fine, yeah. Like, this is a kick. I've taken kick on Dwarf Longbeards before, you know. It's totally fine, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, at some point, yeah, you, you start running out of skills. Mm. What, what a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah. Kick off return to cheat versus die out. Um, that's a good point, yeah. And yeah, I mean I, I tend to take piling on my dwarf long beards, but I can understand people not. Some people don't like to ever pile on. But whatever whatever your skill you're taking later on on long beards, you're not getting a whole lot of value. Not much is happening here, is it? Just punching each other. Oh, well, finally, Dial's based the ball. Oh, this curious dude seems he's joining the booth. No. Hello. He's, co he's coming with both hands. Oh, God. I mean, if any game needs two hands, it's the exciting world of orcs and dwarves. It couldn't be. I thought it couldn't get any more exciting, but here we are. Squirrels in the booth. <laughs> what a roller coaster. This is like Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Add to the list of reasons I'm boring. I've not seen any of the Avatar films. Wow. Wow, man, you are missing a very good show. <laughs> As a movie, the story and all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, uh, but uh, watching it in uh, 3D, oh my god. <laughs> I, I honestly can't remember the last time I saw any film that was in 3D. In the Avatar movies, it's actually well done, so it's worth the thing. Eh? Because there was a time they were starting out in 3D randomly to movies, and it was really, really bad. Yeah. I, I mean, who doesn't enjoy something clearly put in the movie just so something can fly out at the screen at the audience? I always loved that gimmick. <laughs> it was great. When it would just randomly show up in films that had no need for it, other than to sell you spending five more dollars to wear fucking glasses. During a movie. <laughs> Finally gets his hand on Bomber and removes him. Oh, there Instant. you go. Instant removal. So this all seems pretty bad for the orcs, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they've got five, <laughs> five players knocked down, deep in their own half. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty shit for them. No real damage done to the dwarves. Nope. Oh well. You had to say it, Fahimi. <laughs> I had to say it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a perfect cast. Because open some kind of a space there. Oh, Piranha 3D is a classic, Steve. Oh, wow, Frenzy Trap. But he re-rolls it into the power. Doesn't pile. I have not seen Piranha 3D, though I am aware of some of the films 
many talented actresses. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it's really good. Really good film. <laughs> oh, he really wanted the power there, didn't he? Frenzy traps aren't real anyway. It's fine. They're not nearly as bad as people would like them to be. I mean, yeah, 2D into 1D is not that bad, but when people go to run 2D to red dice, yeah, but even that's, that's a proper like, trap. Nothing's that bad, right? Which is how bad players can win. <laughs> you know, yeah. like nothing's that bad. Like people yeah. think a four plus is horrendous, but it's not. <laughs> like it works half the time. <laughs> a three yeah. plus works 66% of the time. A three plus is totally fine. With a reroll, it's actually really quite likely to. Like a, a four plus with a reroll is super likely to work. It's just that, you know, we've conditioned ourselves to think uh, of that as really, really difficult. It's just not. Yeah, a, a two into red, it's a, it's a two dice into better than a three plus. That's that's a that's all it is. Yeah, not it's, that bad. it's not that bad, but it's just the thing is, it's a risk you didn't need to take, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Look, look at this bad. Oh my god, the double ones, dice. I think I see a hit on the ball here, Jim. Looks like it, doesn't it? He could have just mm -hmm. moved the ball first as well, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could have just moved the ball first. There was really no reason not to, unless unless this. Black Hawk was in the way. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? One, two, three. No, one, two, three, four. Couldn't have been in the way. I don't know. Wow. Dio gets the ball. And just about. Does he, can he double GFI? Oh! And he already used the reroll! Theories, oh. it's not Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl 3. Diced. Diced, he's playing the wrong game. Diced, yeah, if it was... Well, no, yeah, yeah, he's got three rerolls, yeah. Oh, man, he'd be super likely to score, wouldn't he? Because he'd have two rerolls for the two GFIs as well at the end. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pretty unlucky there by Dio in the end. Like, obviously, he got his fair share of luck to get into this situation. Purple, you know, he's got the purple chest approved. Tons of rerolls for um, his next one turn. Yeah. So, doing great. <sighs> yeah, there's no chance for the orcs, is there? Nope. chance for the dwarves either though is there yeah there's no way the dwarf can score so it's no it's gonna be the classic nil nil half time both apples gone how are the orcs for spare players uh not so good now <laughs> yeah, <they're all> worse. <laughs> getting worse yeah they're capped at 10 now they were on 11 both were on 11 but now the orcs are on 10. or sure that was maybe the worst player on the field the guard line orc but guard line orcs are pretty good in this matchup Better than rookie ones, which is what's coming on to mm -hmm. replace them. I mean, a guard line orb in some cases might no. be better than like a block black orb. No, sorry, nothing's matchup. coming on to replace it, is it? Because that puts them on 10, so yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's definitely better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it 10v10? No, it's 10v11, isn't it? Sure, yeah, it's 10v10. Yeah, the... He's got a uh, troll slayer hiding with the runner and the logo. Yeah. Yeah, sneaky. Sneaky dwarfs. And you know, Dio stopped the score. It's definitely advantage Dio right now. Dio? Hasn't removed great quality players. But it doesn't matter that much. He's also effectively down since this is an offensive drive, but... And there's no wizard. I don't, he doesn't have a wizard or anything to force it through, but he's also removed the Orcs Inducement. Bomber who... Considering he's a Bomber Dribbles Nut and this is not level 3, I'm, I'm going to go and go on limb and say he did nothing. <laughs> nothing in the game. He, never he knocked anything. over a couple of players, but yeah, he didn't, he didn't do a lot. Oh, power on. Sorry, yeah, art is formerly known as Diamond. Gets the removal, fantastic pylon from Dio. 
and then his laser of equity. Yeah. Purple chest rolling over in his grave. Can't believe that it dwarf is piling on. <laughs> yeah. Betrayal yeah. to the race of uh, dwarves. Uh. Yeah. Dio's gone in the book of grudges. <laughs> <laughs> PC hasn't, no, I thought that was a bit, uh, a bit harsh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> PC rolls grave. Jim rolling over in his grave. I said PC rolls over in his grave. Find me rolling over in his grave at that joke, you know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's fine. <laughs> oh, you are now the working his magic. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, get off the field. There you go, Frenzy, pretty good there, getting that extra hit and removal. I mean, Frenzy Juggernaut is a very good combo. It is. Yes. We're down to one. It's 10v9 ten 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 Aster Flix. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got a new competitor with Trend for best counter in the Blood Bowl community? <laughs> oh, no, no, Aster Flix, uh, they say, I think, say that uh, earlier, at the beginning of the half. <laughs> It wasn't 10v10 then either, though. Yeah, yeah, it was 11v10, and now it's now it's 9v10. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. This is not good in any one. <laughs> 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 Oh, one deep out, a classic uh, play by the dwarves. Yep. Shock because they didn't get a removal on the one dice pal, which, as we all know, is the more likely result for dwarves when they get one dice pal than it is for other teams, based on anecdotal evidence. Yeah, the local league, the local league, you know, uh, was very clear. There was a guy that was always rolling pals with dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Who's at nine? The orcs are on nine. Because, you know, the dwarves have got a bunch of mighty blow, well not a bunch, a little bit of mighty blow on the bomb. So they can do things. Ball is basic though, so I think we don't know what that means. I'm surprised about that. Wouldn't you have piled? Wouldn't you have piled? Let's not not give this away. Interesting. Interesting that Wells at all thought that wasn't worth a pile. Instead he gets his uh his pommer hit twice. Gets away what? with it. He, he doesn't have dice act. The joke is just he knew he was pushes. Don't worry about it. He's not. He didn't cheat. He's not Spanish. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good point. Dio. Dio's in the house. That over Zyke or whatever is Dio. Just so you know, some weeb shit. <laughs> is that the artist formerly known as Dio is going by now? Over Zyke? Yep. That is the artist formerly known as Dio. Wow, that was a, a risky move there. Yeah. Frenzy trap, just quietly. So, you know. Especially because if it worked, it didn't change much. Mm. Did the failure change much, though? Not without it, though. Not without it. Maybe it's just a mistake. Misclick. Mm. Or die your opportunity. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was to demonstrate to chat what not to do. <laughs> Nothing like that, yeah. <laughs> Giving chat a problem to solve. <laughs> a bit more adversity. Make it interesting. Smash backlink, you know. Showing why uh, troll slayers are bad players. <laughs> Wow, a huge dodge here. I think I would have just stayed. I think it was worth because, like, failing it is terrible, right? Failing that dodge is yeah. terrible. So once he once he fails it, he has well. to re-roll. So I think it's better. You no, know, I know that it. most teams have a lot of re-rolls beginning of the half, but they are burning them like. Uh... Mm. Well, it's nil nil, isn't it? It's all on the line. If the dwarf score, it's GG. So. Wow. Wow, the troll is layer again, improving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, but 
potato time. Sure looks it like means it. that Trolley Slayer is going to get hit no. the next turn. Not a potato. Very disciplined from Dio there. I thought he might have seen a potato. Mm -hmm. Still has time. This jump is going to be tough. Really that if the orcs keep rolling uh, pushes, it's the they'll be able to get a wedge. But you know, you could have, you could have moved this guy up to there and tagged him, and then just scooped it up. But I guess the problem is the jump up is pretty fucking scary. Just a bit. Stand firm. Doesn't stand firm. Oh, doesn't it stand firm? Doesn't stand firm again. Oh no, he's got Juggernaut. God. But he could have no, uh, not stood no, firm. No, no, yeah, no, he no. Yeah, yeah, stood the firm. second yeah, one yeah, is yeah, the one yeah. that could have stood uh, yeah, yeah. firm. Yeah, I hate that from Dial, to be honest. How does ball get based? Basically drawing the game? <laughs> yeah, it's G. We all know it's GG if the ball gets based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been based twice, so this is like absolutely no recover. Oh wow. These have been some one dice. Hmm. And as we all know from anecdotal evidence, one dice blocks are always skulls. So, uh... Yeah, I mean... yeah, yeah, there's a guy in the local league that uh, always rolls uh, skulls with uh, one of these. Yeah, yeah, there's that one guy who always rolls piles and that one guy who always rolls skulls. So, <laughs> it's both of them at the same yeah, time. The, the unluckiest coach in the Blood Bowl history is always mm -hmm. in the local league. Oh, yeah, you are yeah. not going to believe the bad guy. You, you roll <laughs> extra skulls, that's nothing. I roll <laughs> extra skulls every single turn for 18 turns. Yep. So this guy should have stood up ages ago. But the point of this one day was so he could have blitzed with this guy, I guess, or something. You know, like, the idea is, and then he gets to someone else to scoot forward and stuff. And, like, that's the thing, you know. So that one day on the face of it looks terrible, but you don't know what Dyer's got planned. And then there probably was something brilliant. There you go. Right. <laughs> but this is terrible not standing this guy up, because surely you're standing him. Yeah, there's no dodge. So that, that he, should have been, he should have gone up first instantly. He was never going to dodge it. Uh, not the best block dice the past couple of turns. I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Uh, people come to watch this for the random acts of violence, <laughs> not the tactical pushing. <laughs> I want to feel a complaint here. Uh... Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing, Dio. What we what we would what would be the best user experience would be. Even TV, like opportunity games, versus players of the same skill level, wouldn't it? That's what it would be. And then this is there was only there was only bomber dribble snot as the only inducement, and obviously World Sitar and Dio are both really good. So this this is going to be a good game, isn't it? Enjoyable for both parties. But unfortunately, there's so many variables, like what TV your team is and what chance you've had to sculpt your team, both very important factors in. Blood Bowl matchmaking, and they're so hard. To, like that's just what makes it so difficult to get good games, doesn't it? Unless you just say, unless you just say no, no progression whatsoever. And if you say no progression whatsoever, then obviously that's a huge selling point for most people um, out the window. Um, but if you did have no progression or anything, and you just had like a naff rule set, then obviously matching by Elo would be perfect. I'd also suggest it's a matchup that allows itself or allows the game more easily to be won about marginal decisions and complex ones. It's not, you know, halflings versus dwarves. Yes. And, and or Skaven with a natty or <laughs> yeah. elves with a wizard. Can I roll some twos on this big turn? Yes. This is a good turn from Dio though. The potato had to come mm -hmm. eventually, right? And this is pretty pretty well done from Dio. Maybe even very, very well done. The jump up is coming. To the assist. Has to roll. Yep. Dyer's down to none. Wills it down to two. Ooh! Blood 
remains undefeated. Not seeing an easy way to get the. Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna have to dodge. There's no tackle, is there? Mm. No, there's no tackle. And the push direction doesn't matter because you can just walk on without GFI still. Wow, staying based wow. is. Not even trying the 2D block. Wow. That's I've a... done that before, and I actually don't think it's wrong, unfortunately. It's very easy to get the assist that makes it wrong. But uh, forcing the opponent to make the dodge as opposed to you taking it is probably okay. So if you just push him, even if you get Pals, he just walks in for a one dice, right? So they weren't able to get the assist, they can just force the... Uh... And there's a dodge, it was a 1 in 9 fail, wasn't it? And I still got mm -hmm. it, but the problem is they can make it harder on this turn. And there's no reroll. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe you do just do the one and nine to score. You. Yeah, I don't fancy the ox two turn. Yeah. Yeah. So You're I, staying I there. I don't mind not doing the two dice though. I, I would have. Yeah, I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have, I would have taken the dodge. Yeah, I would have taken the dodge. And trust my ability to stop an orc to turn. Dio better putting chain pushes than I am. Yeah, that's pretty nice, isn't it? To be fair. Mm -hmm. So it looked hard, actually wasn't. So now he's now he gets to a uh, two D and not make the dodge. So brilliant play. And that's it. Brilliant play by Dio. <laughs> yeah. Formerly Dio, for, formerly Dio. Uh, actually, Ulver Sage. Of the downside of putting in too many players around the ball and how you want to space them out and maybe make more of a net than just facing everyone on it. So let's those kind of chain pushes be very easy to find for coaches that are actually good. Like <laughs> yeah, that was really good. That was really, that was really, really nice. Really nice. But I still think it was better to score last time. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, it's probably better to take the eight out of nine chance to score than to give up the uh, thirty percent chance to, for your opponent to roll. Pow! Yeah, yeah, and maybe it's thirty percent with a reroll as well. There's a good chance of a thirty percent with a reroll. Yeah, and then if they if they stick to the reroll and they stop you, then I guess you still got all the time, and then you still got a chance as well. So I don't know. Who knows? <sighs> Who knows? That's why Dio was the artist, yep. The orcs just playing for a riot, aren't they, pretty much? They're not gonna They're not gonna you know, I don't, Dio not putting his stand firm on the line. I don't think I've ever seen orcs one turn without a goblin and a troll, so He's gotta move seven Orc, but you got Moose in Frenzy, so I suppose it's more possible than it is for just Orc teams. But the Relay and the Dodges are all still very hard. Hmm. You're, and you're basically just a much worse Dark Elf team at doing it, so... Okay, he's, looks like he's finally worked out how to do it anyway, because like, obviously the Frenzy has to do the last hit, so that you actually get to use both hits. Ooh, quick snap! Ooh! It's actually super interesting because now this guy can move forward and then and then chain all these forward and stuff as well. There's lots of there's lots of options now. And oh, Dio has put these here, so someone can come around to fill to fill this one if he wants to go that way. There's lots of ways to do. You'll it have now. to excuse me. My cat has blood on its tail. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> Someone went out and played with some squirrels, I'm betting. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, that's, that's it. Maybe if he'd done the standard setup, this this run around to fill wouldn't have been possible. And that was the big one, that run around to fill. There's also uh been able to do it without without um without blitzers, right? So now he can use the blitz to uh now he can use the blitz to blitz through the back line. Oh, 
Oh man. On the pile. Get to the pow. Outrageous. What a play, guys. What a play. I obviously lucky to get the quick snap, but did it all perfectly, didn't he? And it's set up for it without the quick snap as well. So yeah, really good. Really good play by World Sitar. You don't see those many times. That's not a common view. <laughs> seeing a orcs scoring a one turner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty great. But you know, Dio, if Dio had set up at that line directly behind, um then he doesn't get to move that guy in in around the back, which is the killer, isn't it? So you know, it's, I'm not saying it's Dio's fault, but he, he's also down men as well, right? So that, that makes that setup worse as well, which is why I guess he went for the other one. Um, and the Orcs win the toss, but I mean, still great, great spot by uh, Will Sitar, for sure. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, right, defence, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough. Just one of them, them tings, innit? One of them things. Nine v nine. Can can Corpax be right? There is nine there, and there is nine there. Yep, Corpax gets to be right. Astaflix still incorrect. <laughs> so now it's swung back, looking real bad for Dio again, isn't it? Down three quality players, and really not much any of use out for World Sitar. Just quietly, this guy looking significantly better than Mr. Thrower, isn't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> significantly better. It's kind of crazy, though, the new... The new rules are going to be wild, aren't they? They're going to be really wild, having Blitzers with, like, Move 8 will be commonplace, and, uh, you know, Dark Elves with Armour 9 or 10 will be commonplace. It's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> All of the stats. Move eight, edge four gobbles. Making the one turn look pretty great. Fails again. <laughs> Orcs. <laughs> well, that's a that's a fantastic assessment from Nilicius. Orcs with their one reroll are not gonna not reroll anything <laughs> on defense. <laughs> oh, talking about talking about Blood Bowl three there maybe. Yeah, talking about Blood Bowl 3. With saving for the OT, I was thinking kicks rather than overtime, right? But OT, I was reading OT as overtime and thinking of kicks, and I was like, how do you think they've got three rerolls? <laughs> Blind, stupid, and silly. I mean, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> the natural reaction <laughs> oh the double ones oh again diced <laughs> comedy mega now can the dwarves find a way to hit the ball who knows mm. 
Unfortunately, they haven't got guard there, have they? If, they? if this guy was guard, they could have uh, they could have done the one D to get the assist. Whereas now, I guess this, can this guy double G if I He can. Oh, oh. This did seem like a premature potato, yeah. But it, it puts him in range to score, doesn't it? So like, there's value in that. But yeah, that didn't seem very good at all from Will Sitar, to be honest. Punished. Mm, yeah, very weird. Oh, the double scores! Flip me. Oh my god, what a roller coaster of a game! <laughs> it really is, isn't it? This is pretty good. Though. So, actually, see, that's the thing. That looked bad, right? That looked bad from World Sitar. But now, there's one, two, three, four, five dwarves on four orcs. And then, you know, so now he's going to get loads of orcs around the ball. So, it's interesting, isn't it? He's kind of split Dial's defense by. Um, you know, kind of almost space cadetting him here. And now he can box in the dwarves. Mm. Big hit here. Oh. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Huge. Yeah. Is it 10v10 now? <laughs> it is not 10v10 now, no. No. Oh. I see, I missed the exciting Oh one my turn. god, that. Yeah, thrilling one turn you missed. Mm. Pushing, only pushing down the runner. Yep. It's looking and real bad for okay. Dio. He just managed to rip some of the fur off the end of his tail. Ooh, I hate that from Dio. Oh no, okay, it's because he wants to get this edge fall. Okay. It's like you can free this guy up. But then it's kind of the same thing, except. You've got Adge 4 there instead of a line also. He, had, he added a 2 plus for a bit better payoff. Next turn. Oh, there's the ball. Oh. Very good scatter for the dwarves given the circumstances. Round I'm not sure bit. about that. I think it's really great for the orcs. Now the orcs just need a POW um, or even a push and a blitz for a push. Ooh. And they can pick up the ball pretty easily. Yeah, it's hard to cover it. Diced. Bro works! Oh! Let's the game. <laughs> Amazing! See, now the situation is much better there. Thanks to Pro. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, wow, really? So this game was over two and a half hours live. Well, this is this is the prime reason to do replays instead of live games, because this game has mm -hmm. been great. God knows we wouldn't have thought that if we'd been here for two and a half hours. Oh, my God, <laughs> two hours and a half? No, whoa. <laughs> my days of doing that are over. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, so there we go, push this one. It needs to power the other one. To completely clear. Well, probably has to power to completely clear. Scatter it, right? No, wow. I would have gone for the scatter just because there's a chance it goes in and no tackles on us. Decent chance it goes in and no, like, not decent. That's roll sixes. Yeah. I suppose with the. He just takes the push, he can do the eye cage like this. He just goes and picks it up. And the scatter after the fail pickup isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, either. it's pretty stuff, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, there's no need to move after with the guy next to it. Oh, Dio fails. And that, whoa, it's not over. It's not over, is it? But no, not yet, close. but... Uh, advantage for the orcs now. Huge Every advantage. block is, of course, terrifying because no rerolls, so all of these safe blocks are all pretty risky. Yeah, that's why we're going straight into Compared the Compared with the usual yard. <laughs> Could even just move the ball up a bit, yeah. 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 It'd be tempting to like you know do this blitz first, mm -hmm. and then move them up after. But this is better, I'm sure. Just get the safe moves in. Move seven ball hander. Yes, funnily enough, move seven ball hander. Pretty good. Wrestle pretty good. Seen, and that uh, wrestle mm. Lino doing the Lord's job on the second half. <laughs> oh! I wonder if that two dice block is actually less safe than just doing the dodge on the piling on, specifically because the double skulls fail is worse than the one and three dodge. Correct. Fail. It's one of those where I would have done the dodge first, tag him, and then do the two D, um, mm -hmm. or maybe even double dodge around to pin him. 
Also, the upside on the three plus dodge is higher than the two dice block, I think. Having well, your other blitzer next to the ball in case of stuff going bad is better. I mean, powering him is pretty power. good because you're stopping the four plus off, right? So, like, you do want to make this block. This is more impactful, probably, than this dodge. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and the armor mm. bust. A stand the ball carrier. Wow. Everything comes together. Brilliance from Dio. He knew. He knew he'd roll a nine on the other. <laughs> Man, is this going to kicks? Running looks out of like time. it. I don't see how. It looks like it's an orc win or going to kicks. Yeah, I it's don't hard see for the dwarves. dwarves. No, no, it's looking hard for the dwarves. But he only needs to. To put a uh, one dwarf down the pitch and use Elmeri pass. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, to be fair, he can get it next turn and then score the turn after. So this is pretty easy for World Satan still. This is round two shtick. Dio getting his scoring threat. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Playing to outs, as he might say. Mm. The R is formerly known as DU. No. Yeah, but I would say that's one of the biggest things that bad players don't do. Just play to play to the one way you win, even if it's a one percent chance. But you have to do it. Yep. Not. Wow. I'm going for the dodge now. I'll okay. go for the pickle with him, yeah, okay, that's pretty good, yeah. Because he still moves seven if he failed, yeah, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> first things first. Do think, oh, exactly. <laughs> counting the squares is a blitzer. Oh. Yeah, probably counting the squares for what he needed to do in case he for pushes or the relay of the relay of the ball that player. Nice. Oh man. Well. Gets the pow. It's a big pow. Nice, oh, stand firm. I wonder if there was a better play than this. Like, it sure seems like there is, doesn't it? One, two, three, hit him from there, chain him up. That's definitely better, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Especially because saves you of rolling another block. Yeah, but I mean, it, as Dio says, it was two and a half hours. You know. Yeah. I mean, uh... Fair enough. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's definitively a mistake. But yeah, you know, obviously, it's it's been a great, well played game by both. An absolute war, a mental war. What a game, what a game. We have seen things that you don't see usually, like a one orcs doing a one turner. An incredible. The best orc versus dwarf games you're going to find. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Might be damning with faint praise, but you know, it's best you're going to get it. Uh, too. Using the logic of the artist formerly known as Dio, you know, nobody lost this game. You know, both of them won. Yep, there was lots of fun. That was that's the most important thing. But there was also lots of good play. Uh, very well played by both. Commiserations, Dio. Congratulations, World Sitar. Thank you very much, Fimir and Scroll. Glorious having you in the booth. Uh, absolute pleasure to be here, and I hope our viewers in Vanuatu enjoyed this uh, game. It was a glorious game. <laughs> very fortunate to get such a wonderful game dedicated to them. Yeah, indeed they are. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>